Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And today, you guys, I want to speak to you about some of the most inexpensive brushes that I absolutely love and will highly recommend them. I have them right here in my hand and they are very pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous brushes for applying makeup okay so let's go ahead and begin so i guess i'll start with the ones that i have used rather than the ones that are clean okay so um i have this one here that is by the brand called cheek and it's a powder brush that's the name of it if you can see it it's called cheek and it's a powder brush this is such a good powder brush look y'all Look how much I've used. I love using this powder brush with my Neutrogena Sheer um, Foundation Powder. It just grabs enough powder, and then when I place the powder on my face, it thins it out somehow. Like the way the, brushes, the brush is shaped or something, or the brushes are placed in the, what is it, the barrel? Even if I go into my powder and there's like tons of powder on top, when I blend it out on my face, it shears out. It's like the powder separates on my face when I'm applying the powder on my face. So that means I'm not getting too much powder on my face. And that's exactly what I go for nowadays because I don't like a lot of powder on my face. I love my face to look dewy, just like it's looking really dewy right now. Like I can kind of tap the sides right there. But honestly, you guys, I love the dewiness. So this powder right here keeps me from over applying powder, um, whether it's a sheer powder or just a regular pressed powder, whatever. This powder, literally, this brush on this, this brush and the brushes in the barrel actually places powder on the face, but it separates the powder. Don't ask me how that happens or I don't know, but I'm telling you, I never put too much powder on. Even when this entire front part of this brush is packed with powder, it, it never applies too much where I'm like, oh God, I look cakey. I never look cakey using this brush. This is the Cheek Powder Brush. I love it and highly recommend it. Got that one at Big Loss, okay? And here's another one by the same brand, Cheek. It's uh, the Crease Brush. Love it. It's a perfect crease brush. It's narrow. And when you put the product, uh, when you dab this brush into the product and you get ready to blend it in, it's so neat. It just applies the product into the crease very neatly. I find that I don't have a lot of fallout when I use this brush. And I use several inexpensive um, eyeshadow palettes as well as some high-end palettes. But y'all, this brush really places the powder or the eyeshadow into the crease very nicely. And you can blend it out very quickly. Like it adds enough, like when you dab, dab it into the product and you actually place the color into the crease, it blends completely the whole the entire amount of product that you have placed on the brush, it blends the entire amount into the crease. So a lot of times I don't have to dip back into my eyeshadows as much because this picks up the product, the eyeshadow, very good. And it's real easy to just blend into the crease. And you don't have to sit there and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. This is an awesome crease brush. So this was a dollar. The brush, the powder brush was also a dollar. So these are a dollar brushes, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a dollar fifty. It's either a dollar or a dollar fifty, but still very inexpensive, but really great brushes to use. Okay? Great. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk. Oh yeah, here's another one by the brand called Cheek. It's the glow brush so this one is for highlighter as you can tell i have used it yes i used it today and it, it just applies highlighter so nicely it really blends out my highlighter because certain highlighter brushes that i do have when i place the highlighter on my face it's like thick 
sort of chunky like it doesn't smooth out good this brush smooths out my highlighter and it just looks so good especially like looking at myself and also into the camera like you really see how smooth my highlighter really is like look at it i'm adding more product because i've used this highlighting brush to apply this highlighter onto my cheeks look out look how smooth it is on my cheeks like amazing so this is the glow brush by cheek and it is amazing and if i'm not mistaken i think this one is a dollar or a dollar 52 so very inexpensive nice brush okay that's what we're talking about today the next brush i'm going to talk about is actually these sassy cheek brushes this is the blush brush love it when you look at it you go mm, i was pretty it's just the handle that's the way i was for the longest time it's like the handle is pretty until i actually got one and i tried it y'all now i have four of them okay I love this product so good because the blush is really pretty and it blends out really good. But what I like too is that I could use this brush to contour if I wanted to, to add my bronzer in the hollow parts of my cheek or just whatever, highlight my face. So it doesn't, it's not like it has to be a blush brush. It could be a highlighting brush brush it could be a bronzer brush it's really nice because if you look at it it has this slanted like shape okay and then on top of it it's very narrow so you can really get in there and contour bronze and all that good stuff with this brush but i do like it as a blush brush because when i add product onto this brush it's just a little at a time, and that's what I've learned to do because back in the day, y'all, I used to just, you know, have some brushes. I go into my blush, and you talking about when I put it on, it'd be like, boom, and it was okay. It still turned out good, but with this brush, when I dab it into an eyeshadow or a blush, it just gradually, like, I can gradually add on the blush, like, gradually so i don't overdo it so some like i said with the other brush this the brush is here in this barrel okay it just i don't know something about it it just it just sort of separates the product where it doesn't go on so thick okay so i really like this blush brush I highly recommend it. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, y'all, and it's very cute. Look how pretty the handle is. It's so girly, and I just love that. I'm a girly girl, okay? All right, and then I have these three brushes that's by Sassy Cheek as well. These are eyeshadow brushes, and I haven't used them yet. I was going to use them today, but I didn't because I didn't really show my makeup look. But you guys, look at how gorgeous these brushes look. Like, it's the same sort of, the same type of handle but look they're flat eyeshadow brushes and they're purple and white on top i don't know how these apply eyeshadows quite yet but i will let you guys know but i'm just letting you know that there is some eyeshadow brushes that you can get at the dollar tree so yeah you guys very nice look at that isn't that cute i just love it okay so i thought i would mention those in case some of you are looking for some eyeshadow brushes for a dollar, you can find those Sassy Cheek eyeshadow brushes at uh, the Dollar Tree. Another two brushes that's by Sassy Cheek is these two here. You have, I think this is called a, I forgot the name of them, you guys. I got rid of the paper, but as you can see, this is an eyeshadow brush. And this one right here is a precise brush. I love this for the outer corner, like to get this really neat, straight, uh, thick line. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on. So like I was saying, you guys, this is a precise brush over here. It's really good for putting my shadows over here in the corner, getting that neat straight line that I like. So this one is really good for that. And also it'd be good for eyeliner too if you like to use a precise brush for that. And even a brush for the inner corner highlight, yes, you can use 
one brush for many things. You can actually pack on eyeshadow too with this brush if you want to. But this one really does pack on the eyeshadow on the lid. Like that one is so good, you guys. Like packing on eyeshadow, like especially like glitter like or shimmer like uh, eyeshadows, this one is really, really good. So got that at the Dollar Tree and they're by the brand called Sassy Cheek. I really like these brushes. Like, that is really good. The next one and the last one is the Wet n Wild. Um, I think this is the crease brush. It's very, like, narrow. And it's very small. So it gets right into the crease really good. And if you're going for, you know how when you place, like, you get a... Like for instance, you get a brush like this and you apply your eyeshadow like in the crease and slightly above the crease, like what I got going on right here, slightly above my crease. And then you need to go back in with another shade, maybe right into the crease. This brush is really good. Like where this blue shade is, where I went into the crease, this brush is perfect for that when you wanna get that color deep into the crease real good and real bold. And then if you wanna shear it out, you just keep like kind of swiping it back and forth and you can shear the color out so you can actually um get use this brush to intensify the color into the crease as well as shear it out this is really good it gets right into the crease and if you got a really good defined crease and i have to say I can't say, like, back in the day, y'all know how I used to just talk about, I don't have a defined crease, which I didn't. I didn't have a real bold defined crease. But after coming through my injury and the eye injury and everything, the abuse and all, I have to say that my crease has never looked so good. Even though I have the loose skin that I'm going to get that fixed, but... When I look at my eyes, I mean, I see a crease. And it's so amazing that God healed my eye, you know, from the injury. And as it healed, I have a crease now. It's not real defined, but I have a crease that I actually can put colors into there and really get these really nice looks that I've been like really creating lately. Like I used to couldn't do all of this without having skin because y'all know my um, eyes was really hooded. Um, like down in here, it was really hooded, but I didn't have loose skin, but it was hooded. But now it's like I can put colors on now and look at my eyes. It just, I have a crease. Okay. But anyways, you guys, this brush is really nice to add color into the crease and it's good to sheer out, um, your crease color or pack the, the eyeshadow or pack the eyeshadow into the crease. It's really good brush. And I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar, but you can find this brush also at Walgreens. You can find it at uh, Walmart and uh, I'm pretty sure CVS. Um, Y'all know you can find Wet n Wild products almost anywhere in everywhere but yeah this is a wet and wild brush i absolutely like it and i highly recommend this crease brush okay so yeah you guys those are my favorite inexpensive brushes all these brushes were a dollar to a dollar fifty okay so if you're getting started say if you're uh first like you're starting to create uh, makeup videos and I remember when I first started doing YouTube and I'm telling you I had to try to get me some brushes and things I always like went for brushes like that brushes that cost a dollar and let me tell you like I said with makeup you don't look at the price you'll be amazed at some of the what, like what some of these inexpensive products can really do for you as far as a makeup, as being a makeup artist or a makeup lover, or you just a person that loves to put on makeup. Like, don't look at the price. I'm telling you, you have to try these products out first before you judge them. Because I'm telling you, these these brushes right here, they were like a dollar to a dollar fifty cents, and I want more of them. They're so good. They blend out my blush. They blend out my powder. They blend out my eyeshadows. 
I'm telling you, some of the best brushes I have purchased in a long time. So do not look at the price. Just try it. I'm telling you, just try them. You just might be amazed. I know I am. These are amazing brushes and I really like them. And that's why I'm sharing this video with you guys to let you know if you're looking for some brushes, you need some brushes in your collection and say you're on a budget or whatever, whatever the circumstance may be. I'm telling you, try these brushes. Even if you're not on a budget and say you just want more brushes, need more brushes. If you get inexpensive ones, you can buy a bunch of them and have a bunch in your collection. Think of it like that. I'm telling you, they work really good. They do everything like placing the makeup on the face and applying the makeup onto the face. These brushes really do work okay the application is beautiful all right you guys that's the end of my video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like don't forget to comment if you want to and don't forget to subscribe if not it's okay okay but come back for more videos there will be more videos and yes you guys i will see y'all my next video y'all please take care and love one another okay bye-bye